In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate a couple of small improvements I've made to the studio lighting kit for Modo. So I'm going to click on the little softbox icon to open the kit. And you can see that we have a new option here, which is labeled 4K. So in my original kit, all of the images defaulted to 4K, but the drawback with that is that it made the loading of the preset itself quite slow when you double clicked on it from the preset browser. And it also meant that Modo was then using a lot of memory because it was holding these 16 4K images in RAM. So now the light cards default to 2K, which means that when you double click on the preset to load it into Modo, it's going to load much faster. And also Modo is going to be using a lot less memory. The 4K option is still there in case you want it, of course. You now also have the option to add a color overlay on top of the light card. So let me just unpause preview and shift the camera so we can see light card more clearly. And if I now click on the control locator, you can see there's a new option at the bottom which is labeled color overlay. So if you enable that, what happens is it will add a second control locator next to the original one. And if you click this control locator, you can click on the color and add a color from the color picker onto your card. And you can see that's affected the light card in preview as well. The other option you have is to control the opacity. So for example, if I just enter 0.5, that's going to have a more subtle effect by halving the opacity of my color overlay layer. So let's take a look at the color overlay in action. I've got a variation of the guitar scene with two light cards. There's a key light and a fill light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the control locator for the fill light and start by making it quite a bit brighter. That just means that when I add the color, it's going to be a little bit easier to see. I'm then going to enable the color overlay, drop the channel hold tool, select the second control locator, and let's create a very deep red fill light. Now, I don't need to go back to the brightness if I want to make it a little bit darker. I can simply make the color a little bit darker here, which is what I'm going to do now. With that done, I'm going to drop everything. Next, I'm going to select the control locator for my key light. And once again, I'm going to enable the color overlay. I'll press space to drop the channel hall tool. And then I'm going to click on the white control locator so that I can change the color in the color picker. So now I'm going to make a blue kind of key light. Let's do that. And I'm just going to drop all that, return to my original control locator, and just increase the brightness very fractionally. And so with my color overlay options, I'm able to create much more stylized lighting if that's what I'm looking for. So it just allows for far more creative options when using these light cards. So I hope you find this update to the studio lighting kit useful and thank you very much for watching.